Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it is a translation of a message that I received. The translation of that message, it reads like this. Hello brother Nashi, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? I am a woman who is staying here in the UK. I am aged 44 years old. Please, no matter what, do not share my phone numbers with anyone because I do not want my uncle, who is my um, late mother's brother, because he is the one whom I am working with. So he does not like this thing of social media. If it ever happens that he hears out my story, he will be very angry. So please do not share my numbers. So this uncle of mine is a traditional healer. He in the uk and i laugh a lot because i see that there are a lot of south africans mainly who have been contacting him mainly they are here in the uk and ireland there are a lot of people from botswana who are now residing in ireland oh and they do love these things of traditional stuff so my uncle he does this thing of consulting and I help him a lot, and he is very expensive. I do not want to lie to you. There are a few cases that I want to tell you about that really hurts me a lot, that I think that maybe he has gone too far, because I believe that when someone comes to you with a problem, at least you need to try to assist them, not to worsen their situation. My uncle is a man that is very powerful, that one I can guarantee you. But I don't know if it is because of the spirits that control him or what. He can just feel jealous all because you have a great gift. Take for an example, there is this other young woman. She came to the UK. She is a South African woman. So she came for an exchange program. While she was in her country, there in South Africa, She was supposed to go through the initiation ceremony of becoming a Sangoma. So she kept on having these dreams, being in the sea, being given these powers in the sea by the mermaids. So when she got into contact with my uncle, we then met up with her at my uncle's apartment. And then my uncle told her that she was supposed to come back but he then gave her some charms so that she can easily connect with her ancestors but my uncle always has a way to manipulate the charms that he gives out to his clients and i knew that because as soon as that woman left my uncle then told me that this south african young woman she was worth more than gold i asked him what he meant he then told me that in the ocean there is a type of a spirit it resembles itself as a snake or a dragon this like in the olden days they used to call it a dragon but it is just a snake so this young woman she has that gift in which she can use that snake to connect with the other spirits so that when it would have come time for her to work as a sangoma he said and i caught she is going to become the most powerful sangoma in her country because of her great gift so i then asked my uncle if he was going to assist this young woman because from the look of things she do came from a very poor neighborhood and a poor background even my uncle confirmed and said that the reason as to why she was given this gift it was because of her poor background so that she can uplift herself and her family to change the fortunes of her entire generation. My uncle laughed and said that, no, there is already another old man that he works with who is also a Sangoma, but he is not originally from South Africa. This man is ultra rich. He usually works with those very big businessmen there in his country from Mozambique to South Africa. This man, his powers, they had been fading away. So he used to go to Tanzania where he would go and renew his powers. So my uncle already had made a deal with that man. This woman, Brother Nashi, my uncle started giving her money, treating her as if she was a very special person. And 
telling her that he was going to assist her so that she'll be able to communicate more frequently with her ancestors. Each and every time that he would give her some money, that money he would have made it to sleep at the cemetery and he would collect it so early in the morning. He was collecting that spiritual gift from her. From there on, we waited and we waited because that man who is a Sangoma had to book an emergency flight from South Africa and came to the UK without this girl's knowledge and a ritual was performed. This man was then brought in as if he was someone who had been staying for a very long time in the UK who just wanted to participate in the ritual. But my uncle was transferring that spirit from this young poor woman into that Sangoma who has already made it in life. That did not sit very well with me. Then they came another woman as well. This woman, she had been struggling to fall pregnant. She and her husband, they are in Ireland. So the woman came to Ireland as if she wants to study, but in the end, they would look for a job. The husband had gotten a job already. So she was like, I just need to give my husband a child so that at least we can stay together, not for him to look at other women. My uncle only felt jealous for this woman because of her pretty face and chose that she must not have a child. I am telling you the truth. My uncle, when he gave this woman some charms, those were the charms to make sure that her womb will never open up to accept the seed of her husband and she does not know this. She even praised my uncle because my uncle performed some magic on her such that when she returned back to Ireland, she had a pregnancy and after two months she had a miscarriage and she did not know that it was not a real pregnancy. It was just the charms that my uncle was using. So back on my family's side, my uncle and I, we helped each other to have my mother killed in this other ritual that we did we went all the way to Binga, where one of the Sangomas who strengthened my uncle stays. When we were there, my uncle was told that since he did not have the natural gift of him becoming a seer, a Sangoma, he needed the blood of his relative, one that he loved with all of his heart, to sacrifice that blood so that he can be able to have those powers without hesitation my uncle was then told that my mother was the one who had appeared in the mirror he only looked at me once and he asked me if i should do this and i said that I, I did not know he then said okay do it that is how he killed my mother when my mother passed away she died in a very painful way because he then cast out these other spirits that started following my mother at that time my mother was staying in waterfalls so my mother one night just got outside and then when she was walking along malvern road that was when she was hit by a car this man then felt sorry for my mother and picked her up because she did not have so much damage but the way that she fell to the ground it messed up with her mind she started to lose her mind and then whilst he was driving with her to the hospital my mother since she was now mentally ill then started fighting with the driver and she got out my mother kept on walking and walking and walking she was found three days later she had passed away my uncle was the one who found her because of the charms my uncle did not inform our relatives for a week me and my uncle would go to the mortuary and then we will do whatever that we wanted to do with her body, collect fluids from her body until the seven days were done. That was when my uncle informed his relatives and my father as well. I still remember my father crying a lot. I wanted to cry, but my uncle looked at me. He had so much anger in his eyes for he had been told that we were not supposed to cry. So I stopped myself from crying. Whenever I would see, look at my mother's coffin, I would feel like crying. Then I would stop myself from crying. So those are some of the things that me and my uncle have been doing. Even the reason as to why I am in the UK in the first place, it was because of the grace of my uncle. He came here 
after he had used some charms on this other woman who is his second wife he used some charms on her so that she can leave her husband because she was already rich and made my uncle to come to the uk now he's a britain citizen as well as i am and we did all of these things through the charms not through education Dear listeners, right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our um, um by one of our sister right there. Strange things indeed they do happen in this world. Yo so she was saying that the woman um whom he got married to and this woman mind you, she's already dead. Her, her uncle is the one who inherited most of the stuff. Uh, that once belonged to this woman um so he was she was saying that um the uncle then used to give this woman some charms which acts like a slow poison what a sad story what a sad story please let us try to speak with um let, let us try to speak with with her in the comment section whenever she wants to go to church she says that her uncle somehow knows that that is what she wants to do and he appears to her in the spirit yeah nee.